<laughs> All right, this pig's good. You can see the red on the stomach, so that's nice. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the diaphragm. And I need to go to the abdominal aorta. And so I know if I follow that descending aorta, that it punches through the diaphragm at this hole right there. And so let me show you where it's coming through, right there. So the diaphragm would have been connected right there and there's a little opening right there where it comes through. So that is where the aorta becomes the abdominal aorta as it runs down to the bottom and distributes all its branches. So the first thing we need to feed is the liver, the stomach, and the spleen. There it is, right around the pancreas. So I want to feed one, two, three. And the way I'm going to feed those is with this branch called the celiac trunk. Oh, it's pretty oh, nice that's the celiac trunk. That's it. Where's it going? It's going to, it's going to go and make one of these red splenic arteries. It's going to make a red gastric artery, and it's going to make a red hepatic artery. Okay, so those are the three. You don't have to be able to see those this time, but I just want to show you they, they do exist. Right? So they all come from this celiac trunk. Okay. The next one down, the next thing I can see is the small intestine, right? So I'm going to feed them, and I'm going to feed the rest of this uh, colon uh, in just a minute. But I'm going to feed the spiral colon and then the duodenum. So let's do that. So just think small intestines is next. Oops, this branch here. This is the anterior mesenteric. And where's the mesentery? Remember it was that clear stuff? Remember that? So all those little red things, those are the arcades. All those little branches, those fans that go feed the intestines come from the anterior mesenteric. So let me pin both of them, or I mean, put them both up so you can see them. And that's what they look like. So it goes celiac, anterior mesenteric. The next one you can see, remember we said it was the kidney? Mm -hmm. So let's see the kidney's artery. There it is. How do I know that's the artery? Because I can lift the aorta with it. This is the aorta. So this is the bridge between the kidney and the aorta. Okay, so that's the renal artery. So the blood clot is going to be the brain. Yep. Brain yep. Okay. okay. And then let's go on down. The next thing we'll see, and this one's a little bit tiny, torn maybe just a little bit. There it is. So I'm going to show you the gonadal in just a minute. But there's that descending colon, that green thing mm -hmm. going down. It goes all the way to the rectum and then out the anus. And then here's the aorta, the bridge between the two of them mm -hmm. is the posterior mesenteric. Okay. Okay, and it'll be pinned just like that. I'll have it up like that. If, if I choose that one, yep. So that's the posterior mesenteric going to the descending colon. Okay, all right. We wanna look at the gonadal artery. Now here's a testis. This is the left testicle, it's still in the sheath. All right, I can see. Let's slowly see that little red thing right there? Mm -hmm. And if I pull up, the aorta comes with it. This is the aorta. This is a ureter. So if I pull this up, you can see that it moves the testicle and the aorta. So that's the gonadal or the testicular artery. All right. So that's how I know. If it were an ovary, it would be going to that, and I would pull the uterine tubes up and the ovary and the artery would come with it. Okay. All right. So now we want to. Now we're at the hip line. Okay, we're at the pig's hips, and you think that's the top of the pig's knee here, and so this is where the leg goes back and meets the torso. So here we're at the hip line, so we want to look for those that go straight across. Here's the iliolumbar. Let's look at it this way. Right, so it's going like that. Straight across. Now this one's coming off of the external iliac, but that's okay. Let me do that. That might be more common presentation, actually. So here's the iliolumbar artery. If on this exam you say artery or vein, I'm okay with either because it's hard to pin one or the other. They're so tiny. But tell me, tell me one or the other. Okay. Here is I'm in this 
groin area, very similar to the axillary area, okay? So wherever I am here, kind of like that open area right here, mm -hmm. now I'm in an open area where the leg meets the torso. So this is the external iliac artery, okay? Because it's an open area. Now I'm gonna go on the leg itself. Boom, boom, right there. That's femoral vein. I mean, sorry, femoral artery. I'm looking at the vein. There's the femoral artery. Yep, because I'm touching the leg. Get it? Mm -hmm. Just like up here, I was touching the arm for brachial. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm touching the leg for femoral. All right, let's do the veins. Okay, all of these, you ready? Mm -hmm. You two filmographers ready? Okay, <laughs> so all of these are gonna come off of this posterior vena cava. So the first thing we'll do is we'll find the posterior vena cava when you see it coming down here, and it'll be towards the left, sorry, towards the right. There it is, coming down, coming down. Obviously, I can see the renal vein right there, no problem, okay? There's a renal vein, so that's the left renal vein. The other thing I wanna see was that hepatic portal vein, and since the liver's on the right, I gotta go over there. So let's move everything off of that and look under there. There it is. See how big it is? That's the portal vein. So that's the hepatic portal vein going to the liver, okay? There's the little gallbladder hanging out, mm -hmm. right? So that's the hepatic portal vein. And it goes back, after it goes through the liver, it goes back to the uh, vena cava. Going down, here's the right renal vein right there, and the kidney's still in the fascia there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's still behind the wall. Okay, so now that was the last thing you had to know until iliolumbar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm back at iliolumbar, I'm back at the hips. So again, this one doesn't have a lot of latex in it, but there's the vein right there. You can see just the blue, mm -hmm. just a little bit of blue, but veins are flat like a piece of tape. It's kind of what they look like. So that's a vein and there's one on top, but this is iliolumbar vein. Now we need to go to the common, okay, before we split. And I'm working my way from the inside out, even though veins run the other direction, but I already started it, so, okay. There's the common. And coming off of that common, you can see an internal iliac and an external iliac. So the common is where they come together. So that's the common iliac vein. Here's the internal iliac vein. Here's the external iliac vein. The femoral vein in this pig is right here. But again, you might not be able to see that very well. So, you know, I personally would not pin that vein on this leg because you can't see it, but that's the vein. You know how flat it is? That's the vein. So that's the femoral vein. But we're clear that this is the, yep, that's the common, and this is the internal, external. Remember, if it says iliac, then it's hips, because that's where the ilia are. Good. So I'm going to pin this one more time right here so you can see the difference, and then I'll go over there. Yeah. Pin them, and I'm going to lift them up. Okay, and so now you can see celiac and anterior mesenteric. So where is the vast difference? Because we're trying to do 